You write in your book that um, you're not sentimental about your own time at school. Can you explain that comment? Um, I wasn't sentimental about my own time at school, um, in large part because it sort of, it, it awoke in me uh, a sense of inequality that I hadn't really been aware of before that period of time. Um, and, you know, this could be that I was either very naive or uh, my family was not very political. Um, uh, and I, while I was at the school, I was actually quite happy and um, pretty successful as a student, uh, both academically and socially. So I was, you know, elected by my peers to represent the, my class uh, on the governing body of the institution upon graduation. And I um, won an, the like award of the student that best represents the school. So this was, you know, I was certainly not a kind of depressive um, or isolated student. But the more time I spent away from the institution, the more strange it sort of appealed, it appeared to me. And um, the more I began to learn about patterns of inequality, the more I began to think quite critically about uh, institutions like St. Paul's. And so I think part of it was that my politics shifted and I began to reflect back on this experience with a kind of critical eye. And also what I, what I knew about the world changed. Um, I sort of had a broader perspective about um, the economic and social relations of American society. Uh, uh, for students in this class, I think they should keep in mind just how segregated American uh, neighborhoods are. And it's hard to convey the degree of residential segregation to people who aren't from the United States. But the basic idea is that if you're from a wealthy background, you, you don't see many poor people ever, um, except maybe you know, if you go out for a walk into a different neighborhood. Um, but even that doesn't happen that much. When you even go into the city, when you go into New York, you tend to stay in wealthier neighborhoods. And also that the, um, it's not just that wealthy people live together, white people live together. And so there's an, an enormous racial component to this as well. And so, um, you know, my time at St. Paul's put this into relief for me and my time away led to me really actually beginning to study this. And that sort of took away a lot of the sheen of my education. It made me a lot less sentimental about this experience that had been very important to me and actually that I was, um, you know, not terribly unhappy with at the time.